Okay, I came across a problem like this watching the uh, 2012 Olympics. Uh, they were doing the diving competition, and the commentators mentioned uh, how fast the divers were going as they hit the water. So let's look at this. We got a diver on a 15 foot platform board. Assuming he can jump up at a speed of six feet per second, how long will it take for him to hit the water first? And what will his speed be as he hits the water? So we're going to start out with the falling object formula because our diver will be a falling object. Okay, so here's our general form for a falling object. Okay, and let's see what we know. Okay, we want to know how long it'll take to hit the water. So we're looking for the t's. So we have negative 16 t squared. Our ending height is going to be zero because he's going to end up in the water. Our initial velocity is just six. So that goes for the v zero. And our initial height is going to be 15. Now, to solve this, you would normally use the quadratic formula, uh, which will works fine. In my classes, I, I give them a spreadsheet or let them use a calculator or an app that will quickly go to the answers. Because uh, at this point, we really want to just do the calculus, not so much the algebra. So if we solve this using the quadratic formula, we get two answers. One is negative about negative 0.8, which really doesn't matter because we can't have a negative time. So we ignore that one. The other number we get is about 1.2 seconds. So we've answered the first part of the question. It will take him about 1.2 seconds to hit the water. Okay. Now, what about the speed? Well, if our original equation gives us the position, then if we take the derivative of that, that will give us the formula for the speed. So our derivative equation is going to be, we bring the 2 out front, so that gives us negative 32 t, reduce the exponent by 1, leaving a t. Next we have a linear term, and so the derivative of that would just be 6, we drop the t off. The plus 15 is a constant term, so that goes away. So our speed formula is just negative 32t plus 6. And so to calculate the speed as he hits the water, well, h prime tells us what the speed is, so we need to plug a time in here. Well, we know it's going to take him 1.2 seconds to hit the water. So to calculate the speed, we're going to put 1.2 in for the t and calculate that out. So negative 32 times 1.2 plus 6 gives us negative 32.4. And this is feet per second. And it's negative because he would be going down. Okay, when we're talking about speeds and with the falling object, positive means you're going up. The 6, he started off going up and then he ends up coming down at about 32.4 feet per second.